Clippers, who were able to hold on to the fourth seed with a win over the Blazers. James Harden, he dished out 14 <laughs> dimes. But look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Closed out on Kawhi Leonard before eventually connected with Amir Khan. This was just a little bit of a he said no. I wanted Amir to have the play I've never seen him in my from Harden. I guess, I guess he was trying to lighten the mood. Well, he was asked about it to explain this decision, Perk, to that point. Contest your own teammate. I mean, he was asked to explain that after the game. Take a listen to what he had to say because this was uh, this was different. Gotta bring some excitement to this team. You know what I mean? I think this last few weeks has been a fog for us and. I think every team goes through it, so I think just me just trying to create a good energy, create vibe, a great vibe for this team. And, um, maybe it would have been better if we could have made the shot, but let's give something give some to laugh about, laugh about, you know what I mean? Some excitement for, for the season. Did you accomplish, did you accomplish your mission? Yeah, I did. Have you ever seen anything like that, Austin? No, I never have. Um, but if you know James, like we both know him. You played is, with him in Houston. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I know you played with him in OKC. That is the most James-like play I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he knew that they were going to win that game regardless of which. So he going out there trying to lighten the mood, get the energy up. People have had a lot of negativity to say about the team recently. They're 10 and 10 over the last 20. Look at look at this clip. Look at look at this. No 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 no. <laughs> we at the point of the season where it's not about lightening the mood up. Oh, or it's being they're funny. playing Portland. No, it's not about playing Portland. This is a team that has been struggling. This is a guy that has a resume of struggling, especially during this period of time and going into the. Going We're into talking the about that, his resume of struggling uh, hey, versus look, the Trailblazers. No, 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 That's no, what no, I'm no. saying, bro. Wait, He's no, having a good no, time, bro. No. So wait, 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 I'll get it back to you. The only issue I have is Kawhi Leonard afterward. He's like, bro, what? what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yes, I, I, yeah from look, a guy that done won two is, finals MVPs yes, that knows. James is different. I didn't take it too serious. It was unusual, but yeah, I'm, I'm not here serious. saying, oh, Unusual is a good word thank for it. But, yeah, it's not going to be like, oh, this can never happen again. Who else looks like they felt good about it? Did Kawhi did? Did they win? <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody play. expected it. That's the thing. Oh, God. I don't think I, I've had football. people do that to me in practice. At practice? Yeah, I know it's not the game. We're talking about practice. practice. Yeah, but, we're, we're, talking, we are we're talking about practice. Okay, we're talking about a team, though, if we're, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt uh, here, Perk, who are 7-8 and eight since the break. They were 28-7 and seven before that. So I think that that's probably from where you're, where you're coming from. The this is what I'm saying. It's not about lightening the mood. Winning, winning the championship or trying to go compete – or competing to win the championship, it's nothing easy about that, and it's supposed to be frustrating. You're supposed to walk in and be in your feelings. Like, it's nothing past that. So, at the end of the day, I get what he was trying to lighten the mood, but maybe the mood doesn't need to be lightened. Like, maybe T. Lou needs to keep applying pressure because I know he's been on the ass like back pocket. So, it sounds like you're a little bit concerned about the Clippers. Hell the way yeah, been I picked them to come out of the West. And now? <laughs> Yo. That damn Jokic, man, he got me thinking otherwise. Denver Nuggets, yeah. Are you as concerned as Kendrick is? Uh, there's definitely concern just due to the fact that we hear in comments from Paul George talking about we haven't found our identity. This is a team that went 25-5 and five at one point, and we didn't hear any whispers of anything about identity. They were saying the opposite. We found who we are. We found our groove, yada, right. yada, yada. Now we're right before the playoffs, and, like, we're, we're hearing these type of things. So there is concern in that regard. But this is a team you still don't want to play early on in the, in the playoffs. They have so much firepower. Uh, James is in a position also, let's talk about it. The reason he's lighthearted is because he's been in a position he's never been in before. He's not the first option or the second option. He gets to be the third guy, have a lot less pressure on himself. It lets oh, him do what he there is pressure, yeah, but it's not as yeah, much as previous like, years. Look, I don't fault him for trying to lighten the mood because sometimes you have a teammate that's going to do that, whether it's with their play. And typically that yeah. teammate is Russell Westbrook, right? And they so miss him. They miss him. Good point. And so I do think he's trying in his own unique, unusual way to lighten the mood in which how are you going to else find energy? I mean, maybe through your play, cool, but I didn't mind that. I, I didn't take that too serious. I, we had the Clippers saying this is their year. They do need to switch gears the way that we've seen other teams do that, like the Denver Nuggets. I still think that they can make some noise if they're able to be well, hopefully more healthy come the playoffs. I'm in place. But I still have the Nuggets in front. Yeah. But this is still a team that like is capable of switching their numbers back to that pre-All-Star. We, we don't see Jokic playing with the game like that. We they were up 20 versus I, I, But he plays I'm with energy, saying, guys. Like Aaron does that. He I'm literally saying. ran down the hallway saying unrelenting the lightning. Yeah, but that was a, that was, that that was a hidden camera. I, I, that wasn't on the floor. Well, I understand, I understand where you're coming from. The, we talked about 
the Clippers as being one of the top four seeds that's really locked in. The Denver Nuggets, OKC, the Timberwolves, mm -hmm. the Clippers in some way, shape, or form, in some order. And now, all of a sudden, the Pelicans are really knocking on that door. There is a very, very real chance oh. that they fall out of that fourth seed and therefore home court advantage. Look, to me, their goal, the Clippers, was always to be ahead of the Denver Nuggets, and that's not happening. And I don't think that that helped them because as long as they were in the, the mix, they felt like they would play better. But they have to realize the competition is not just the Denver Nuggets. It's the entire top six in the West. The issue.